Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome you all to the Burgess Blood People of God. Today's list is about the continuation of the burial of late prophet T.B. Joshua. May God continue to console the household because we really we, we are going to is really going to be missed and he lived a good life, a Christ like attitude. Definitely one day everyone or everyone one of us is going to leave the world. What will people say about you where you live? What are the testimony? Are you impacting in people's life? What are you doing to have a Christ-like attitude? If you've not given your life to Christ, kindly watch and repent and give your life to Christ. Watch this clip and stay blessed. Um, <laughs> I want to thank you. Okay, I think I need to take this off. I'm sorry. Okay, I want to thank... Um, The church of god for this very rare privilege the fact that i'm even standing here where the man of god had stood i'm having all sorts of also all sorts of sensations right now i don't even know how i'm feeling but i'm speaking on behalf of my colleagues here so i'm going to make this very quick and very brief um please pardon what i'm going to say right now people that know me know that I always try to say it as it is. I do not mince words. A lot of people have come here and have said some wonderful things about this phenomenal human being. And um, I feel this needs to be said. The first place that Christians got their name, that name Christians was in Antioch, if I'm correct. That was where they saw these believers and they said that these ones are Christ-like. They, that means they are behaving like Christ. That was where that name Christians came from. It was not a nickname, it was not a title. They earned it through service. Amen? Alright. Now, now, knowing a true Christian or a man of God is not rocket science. It's not such a hard thing to do. Because the Bible said concerning Jesus that he went about doing good and healing all those that were oppressed of the devil. Sorry, it's like you didn't hear what I just said. The Bible said Jesus went about doing and healing all those that were oppressed of the... Does that remind you of anybody? Can you put your hands together for Father, for Daddy? I said I had to say these things because, you know, some of us just gloss over it. I had to do an Instagram post some weeks back and I had to ask a question after Daddy passed on. Because I was seeing so many comments, I was seeing so many people saying some stupid things. I'm very sorry, I'm a bit emotional right now. And I asked that, was T.B. Joshua a man of the devil? Because a lot of people were saying that he was not a man of God. And I was like, was he a man of the devil? And I was like, okay, so what exactly did he spend his life doing? Because as far as I'm concerned, if I'm looking at Nigeria right now, I'm sorry. A lot of people are going to get offended with what I'm going to say, I don't care. If we're looking at Nigeria right now, the church in Nigeria, if you tell me to point out one person that is living practicing ministry like jesus himself the templates that jesus himself said it is not record science i'm not saying it to make anybody feel good you know the truth i'm not telling you anything that you don't know already and i thank god that i'm i'm fine i'm a, I'm a member of this house now praise god but i'm also speaking as a non-member if you know what i mean so i'm not just saying it because i'm a member of the synagogue I'm saying it because it is the truth. This is a. I'm sorry. I said, "Mommy, I said something when I when I saw the video of. Uh, I think it was Pastor Biara when he came to visit you, and I said, and I saw the living room of Daddy, and I was like, ah, "This is Pastor T.B. Josiah's living room." Okay, let me not say what I said after that. <laughs> but we have men of God who invest all of their resources in building mansions, in buying expensive cars, in dressing in designer clothes, and they will still come on the pulpit and say, look at this shoe I'm wearing, is $10,000. And this amen of God had the audacity to be saying that this man was not a man of God. I am not surprised. 
Listen, let me tell you something. I did not come here to mourn Pastor T.B. Joshua, and I'm so I'll speak the mind of my colleagues as well. We are not here to mourn Pastor Joshua. We are here to mourn a nation who did not know the jewel she had within her grasp until she lost it. We are not here to mourn Pastor T.B. Joshua. We are here to mourn the many that he touched, the many that he supported, the many that he built up spiritually, financially, who turned out to be the ones to tarnish his image. I am not here to mourn Pastor T.B. Joshua. I am here to mourn the church who could not see beyond their envy and beyond their spite to learn humaneness, humility, true Christianity and true service from this humble man of faith. Those are the people I am here to mourn. Listen, more importantly, I came here to celebrate and to thank every one of you who are seated here. You guys do not know how blessed how privileged you were. Listen, the Bible said one thing, that it was after Jesus died and the veil of the te in the temple covering the Holy of Holies was torn into two. That was when those who had planned to kill him knew the error they had committed and they said that if they had not, they would not have killed the Lord of glory. It is after the passing of daddy that all those people, by the time they sit and hear the works that this man has done, will regret and wish they had not criticized and vilified this man of a God bless you and God bless the church. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Brother Femi Branch. We thank you for we know wherever our Father is, He is in your presence. We want to thank you for the grace you have bestowed upon Him and for all the wisdom you have given Him to teach us and to lead us to the right way of living. And we believe, O oh God, the seed you have used him to plant it on earth shall not wither. We shall continue where he stopped in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We pray, O oh Lord, wherever he is, may he find peace in your presence in the name of Jesus. And the church at all, we will continue more and more and the church will grow in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Prophetess Hannah Diana Levy from Jamaica. 52 years old, Prophet Anna, her brother Joshua, Michael Levy, 48 years old. We honor the great Prophet, Prophet T.B. Joshua of Nigeria, who was passed away on the fifth day of June. We celebrate the life and his legacy, and as I honor the prophet, he is a true prophet of God Almighty, Jehovah. You know, I am a friend of the Messiah Christ, and I am a descendant of Hannah in the Bible. And Prophet T.B. Joshua is a descendant of Joshua in the Bible. So on the behalf of the house of Israel, I con congratulate Prophet T.B. Joshua for his good work. Also, I must say congratulations to his father and his mother, Mr. Joshua, who gave a son to the world, touching the sick and healing those who were sick, feeding those who were hungry. He did the same thing that Jesus did when he was on earth. The Spirit of Jesus Christ is in him. And the 11th of July is going to be his funeral. So in honor of the great prophet, when one prophet is passed away, all the prophets around the world mourn. I am mourning for Mr. T.B. Joshua here in Mount Peace District, Hanover, and my brother Joshua Levy, we are mourned. We have lost a prophet, one of the greatest men of God in the 21st century. And it is hard to find another prophet. He had finished his job on the earth. So God is going to assign another prophet to take over the work for his coming. I give thanks and honor to this prophet because he was a loving man and he was kind and he was also sharing. He will live righteous. Today he is in heaven in Abraham Bosom. He is a descendant of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Abraham is, is re re rejoicing. He is like the prophet Elijah, Elisha, 
and also a leader like Joshua in the Bible. So I honored him and may his soul rest in peace in heaven. And to his wife and children, I say, may God Almighty Jehovah, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God of Israel, the God of the Hebrews, continue to bless the family, his mother, his father, and his brethren, the synagogue church of all nations, and continue to bless Nigeria. For those who are saying evil against the man of God, they are foolish. It's because they are a follower of Lucifer. And I say tribute to the great prophet. And next year I will visit in his tomb. So may his soul rest in peace. And may Al Almighty God continue to bless his family, his children, his father and mother. And the whole world mourn. I am in Jamaica in the mountain of Mount Peace. Where I watch the world as a prophetess. And I'm not also a prophetess. I am a Levite priestess. I'm from the house of Levite, and I'm also a spokeswoman for God Almighty Jehovah and Jesus Christ. So I know exactly that Mr. T.B. Joshua is in heaven, because anything, Jesus always informed me in prophetic vision. And may his soul rest in peace. May God bless the family. In Jesus' name. Thank you for watching. Kindly like, subscribe, and comment.